Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. I am just going to take you through the Super Skin Tones tool that I have developed, um, show you how it works and how it's going to make your life uh, with regards to getting skin tones right a uh, whole lot easier and faster. So let me just quickly show you uh, what it's supposed to do first. So I've got a nice image here. Um, I'm just using lots of random stock imagery, so uh, don't judge me for that. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this image, I'm going to uh, duplicate that uh, image there. So I've got that on a, uh, I've got a layer there that I can adjust, um, and I am going to add the Super Skin Tones tool on top of it. So the way I do that is just with an adjustment layer, um, and bear in mind I am not a Photoshop expert, so hopefully yeah, you won't judge me too much for that either. <laughs> um, right, so we're going to go to Color Lookup, and up here we're going to Load uh, 3D LUT, um, and we're just going to pull the Super Skin Tones LUT from there and load it in. Uh, and immediately you'll see they go green. Um, obviously that is not the uh, ideal skin tone that you want, don't panic, your original image is still here underneath. Um, but what the green is telling us is that those green areas are in the ideal skin tone range. So if we take this image just below it uh, and we adjust the hue just a tinsy little bit I'm just going to show you how this works if I blow it out you'll see um, we are now outside of good skin tone um, and again outside of good skin tone um, so what we want to do is we want to make these two as green as we possibly can which is probably around about there um, doesn't take too much refining and that's done so now we have ideal skin tones. So it really is that quick. So let me just show you um, on this image the before and after and you can see that we changed virtually nothing because this was already a professionally shot, professionally graded image. So uh, this one was an easy one just to demonstrate basically how it works. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a few other shots just to show you how this works with a range of different things. Now obviously a lot of these are professionally shot in studios uh, and professionally tuned. So if I do the same thing with this, so I'm just going uh, control J to create a new layer down the bottom there um, and then I'm going to add Color lookup, load our super skin tones, look on top of it, and you can see these guys are also nice and green. Um, so you see that this works fine with a range of different ethnicities uh, and backgrounds as well. I'm just going to go Control U to bring up the hue slider, uh, and you can see once again as I move this, they go out of the green range. So we're going to get this uh, as green as we possibly can. So once again, in this case, we've got virtually no change. Um, but if I just zoom in a little bit on here, you can see that is with it turned off and with it turned on. So you can see quite clearly, well hopefully, uh, depending on your monitor, you can see that uh, just that little tweak has warmed up the skin and um, made these guys look a little bit healthier from slightly yellow perhaps to just nice and healthy. Let's try another one. Now this one is obviously quite different because uh, this has a very distinct sort of look uh, and color cast about it. So I'm going to try doing the same thing just to show you how this works. Um, so there you go, we've created a new layer which is the one that we're going to adjust there. We're going to throw our skin tones on top there and you can see that right away this has not done a great job. Of, uh, of pulling out these skin tones. And that's partially because these are not really skin tones. So I'm going to try changing it. So let's go to Control U again. Uh, and we're going to tweak this a little bit and see. Okay, we can kind of make it a little bit greener. Okay, but we really can't bring that in. Uh, so if I just turn that off, uh, you can see we've changed it a little bit. Now keep in mind, um, as I said, I'm not a Photoshop expert. I'm not going to spend the time masking these all out. I'm, I'm just showing you basically how uh, how we can use this to adjust skin tones. Uh, but I'm adjusting the entire image, which you normally probably wouldn't do. You'd normally just look at the skin tones and and, and, uh, and mask out the, uh, the skin tones from it. So anyway, um, going back to this. So this clearly is a tricky image 
to actually be able to deal with. Let me just get rid of that uh, and create a new clean copy of it. All right, so we've got, um, so there's a few ways that we can deal with an image like this. If we wanted to adjust the skin tones and make these skin tones look lovely and healthy, probably I would, and like I say, as a non-expert, do something along the lines of perhaps this color balance here. And it's sort of largely mid-tones to highlight. So let's just turn this back on and I'll show you, whoops, I'll have to turn that back on first. So we're going to go image adjustments and we're going to go color balance, control B. I am just going to tweak this and you can see what happens. So as I like tweak this around, we want to try and get, oh, there you go, we're starting to get a bit more green in there now. Uh, see if we can, so we want to make her basically as green as we can by adjusting these. All right, let's just mess around with the highlights a little bit as well. See if that helps us. It's not really giving us much more. Uh, but you can see that those little changes uh, have brought dramatically more green into the image. If I just turn that off, you can see that was the original. Um, and then when we made those little color changes, um, we got a lot more green in here. So what does that actually end up in well this is the original shot you can see um, she is looking fairly corpse like a lovely photo but obviously a quite a deliberate choice uh, to make her look uh, quite quite white um, and here you can see we've got a much more natural looking uh, lively color uh, in her skin tones. So it really is that quick and easy. Now how you actually go about adjusting the skin tones entirely up to you, um, but this tool just gives you a guide so you know when you're hitting the skin tones. The reason why it's so important is that most of us don't have fancy color corrected monitors or displays that we can use to tweak this stuff. Um, so a lot of us are either flying blind or we're having to learn how to use uh, things like scopes or um, other sort of tools in order to be able to know that we are hitting the right color to get a nice clean um, skin tone out of these images. All right, so let's carry on through and I'll see if I can show you a few others quickly. Okay, so here's a whole group. Now, by the looks of it, again, this is just stock image that I've just pulled off the internet. Um, but again, um, this looks like it's all been shot with the same background, same environment, so I would assume pretty similar lighting. Uh, that's going to help us because I will show you in a minute um, how that changes. So again, we've created a new layer, which is the one that we're going to adjust just so that I can show you an AB comparison. Um, we are going to throw super skin tones on top of it and you can see these guys, yep, they're all pretty good, right? Okay, I'm just going to fire up the hue. We'll just give it a little bit of a play see whether we can do any better I actually don't know whether we can do much better than what's already there um, so that's pretty good but you can see basically we can adjust those things quite easily all right so that one is pretty simple now this is an interesting one this one was uh, created by a guy Sean Tucker uh, so search that out on YouTube um, and what he did was he did a bit of a comparison between Canon color uh, and Sony color. Now I should point out that uh, Sony, since this comparison was done, uh, Sony have worked pretty hard to uh, to fix their color. So there's not nearly the problems that they used to have uh, in their color. But this was just to do a quick comparison out of the camera of Sony skin tones versus Canon skin tones. Now you can probably already tell um, that yeah the Canon looks a, a little bit nicer. But what we're going to do, oh, I've already played around with this one. Let me just get rid of this. Uh, and get rid of this so I can show you what I am doing. Um, delete that one. Oop. Delete that one. All right, so that's the original image. And that was just straight out of camera showing a demonstration between um, the Canon and the Sony. So we're going to add a new layer. And then on top of that, we're going to go color lookup and we're going to throw super skin tones on top of there. And you can see the Canon is indeed uh, based on this tool quite a lot better. We can still do better than that though, I suspect. So let's go control U. Let's see if we can make him a bit greener. Now one thing I should note about this is if I wanted to do something like increase the saturation um, on this as well, uh, change the lightness. Okay, so this will work in 
all sorts of lighting conditions um, and different saturation points as well okay and it'll still tell you if your skin skin tones are being on so um, I'll just put those I'll put those down a little bit um, all right so there you go so we've increased our lightness changed our saturation slightly but basically you can see now we have uh, yeah got good skin tones versus bad skin tones now if I wanted to correct the Sony skin tones I could do the same thing so I just look at those I just try and make those green um, let me just reduce that lightness back down a little bit uh, bump the saturation up um, and we're going to try and make the Sony one here we're going to make him as green as we possibly can which is probably around about there um, all right and if we have a look um, now we've improved and we've got a much more natural looking skin tone uh, over here of course we've ruined uh, the Canon image um, but that is not the purpose of this little experiment okay so we go back to the original uh, you can see it's quite magenta ignoring the uh, the brightness differences uh, versus the new one uh, we've got a much warmer nicer looking image all right let's take an image that actually this so this is obviously professionally shot um, looks generally pretty good um, so if we wanted to again if you're looking at this on depending on the monitor you're looking at it on the image could actually look pretty good and you might not feel like you actually need to change it very much so let's just see what this tool is going to tell us about these skin tones um, so we've created a copy of it and on top of that copy we're going to put an adjustment layer um, which is the super skin tones tool okay and you can see she's pretty green as we expected um, we just want to go in here and we just want to see if we can make her greener okay we can we can get a pretty vibrant green um, with a little bit of a tweak go okay all right we'll turn that off okay and so now this was the new version and that's the original so now when you actually do an AB comparison of so the original versus the new version you can see that the skin tones are dramatically better with that very very quick and easy tweak so even for an image that started out looking pretty good uh, before you saw how much better it could get uh, this tool is still really useful okay let's try a couple more just to show you okay so this is an interesting image obviously this is a composite image so whether or not these were shot in the same environment I don't know they look pretty good uh, off the bat um, but we'll give it a try anyway okay so here we go we're going to go create the new whoops create the new layer we're going to throw on top of that layer super skin tones and you can see yep probably pretty good <laughs> yeah we've got a, a little bit of tweaking to do now what I want to show you here is that even an image like this because they have been shot perhaps in different environments and they've been tweaked slightly differently and then they've just been composited together uh, even an image like this you can see that we can actually make some improvements um, so we're just going to take our girl on the left here and we're just going to focus on her just to see if I can show you what I mean all right so here you go we're going to go down here we are going to throw up the hue tool and we're just going to tweak her slightly until she is a bit greener all right so probably around about there is looking excellent right now okay we're going to go okay and we're going to turn off our lookup now if you switch back to the original so there's the original and there's the new version so hopefully you can see this on your monitor it's quite clear uh, in the original when you compare it to the super skin tones version uh, you can see that she looks just a little bit sort of jaundice a little bit yellow this has warmed her up quite dramatically uh, made quite a good improvement right now the disadvantage in this particular image is that obviously that change because I didn't mask it out has affected these other two as well um, so if we wanted to treat each one of these separately we would have to mask them out but I just want to quickly show you you know I can do the same thing whoops cancel that turn that back on all right just I can do the same thing uh, with these two as well so I can just pick out whichever one and just make them look as green as possible okay you can just see that it works well on all skin tones but when you've got a situation like this where the girls have been perhaps photographed in different lighting conditions um, you're actually going to get slightly different results so that's just something to keep in mind um, but not generally going to be a problem for most uh, people who are just grading a single shot all right so we actually in order to get the agent looking good there we didn't need to do very much we'll just go okay all right okay and so before and after you can see again she probably has improved a little bit um, all right 
but uh, not too dramatic a change as you would expect from a professional photograph. Okay, so having said all of that, we have looked at lots of lovely studio shots that have all been carefully graded here. So I wanted to pick out something that looked a little bit more like your Instagram feed uh, just to show you how it works on this as well. So we are going to do the same thing. We're going to go Control J to add a new layer. Um, and then on top of that layer, we are going to throw super skin tones uh, which is there all right and you can see it's actually already not too bad but if we wanted to tweak it a little bit um, we can probably mess around a tiny bit we want to make all these guys as green as possible so maybe somewhere along those lines all right i'm just gonna zoom in here um, so you can see what we're doing all right i'll turn that off all right and so there was the original and that's the new version so very minor change on this um, but the important point here is just how simple it is to actually dial it in um, in terms of getting exactly the color you want um, without actually having to really think too hard about it we may be able to improve this even more we'll just see how we go all right let's try that and just see if you can so yeah so when you compare the new version the super skin tones version to the original um the original actually starts to look quite yellow in comparison um so these are lovely warm skin tones and the advantage of this tool is it really is that simple um it is literally a few seconds to get uh, exactly skin tone doesn't matter what kind of monitor you're using it on uh, it doesn't matter if your, your monitor is completely shot the colors are completely out uh, if it is green you are good to go so that is the tim tools super skin tones tool um, check it out and um, hopefully it uh, it can be useful and it can save some time and uh, deliver better images for you out of photoshop very good thanks for your time